Previously on Rags to Riches. So you guys can now see my cursor. Woo! Oh god, it's dead in here. I managed to get to 1101. Are you taking the piss? Okay, so I've just spent another eternity buying another 1000 <laughs> bag plants. Kills by starter house. Yeah! Oh, I'm getting attacked by a highwayman. Shit. Quick, get into your house. Get into your house, quick! Oh my god, that was close! I'm just going to go out and just murk with you guys now. I ran lots of bagged plants. Hello there guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Rags to Riches. As you can see here, I literally have not logged onto this account since the last episode, which was some 250 odd days ago, so there's no funny business going on. Pick up right where we left off. Uh, what's this? Some task that they want me to do. I don't really want to do it, I'm afraid, Jagex. Um, but if you recall, we were just getting our farming up so that we could go and farm herbs, because they're really good income. You can do three herb runs per, like, 90 minutes. And it really adds up, you can then do that some 10 times a day quite comfortably. And get quite a lot of money from doing like, even just Ranars or something. Um, so from the Squeal of Fortune today, we got a small lamp which I've put into farming. And we also got 50 GP, but I discarded that, even though it's only 50 GP. Simply because, at the end of the day guys, this is 10 mil from scratch. So just a quick reminder of how this series works, or for anyone that's new to the series. I made a brand new RuneScape account, so basically no bank and no stats, and I'm trying to get 10 mil GP on it, just to help you guys see how I made money at lower levels, because I often get asked, you know, how did you make your money? Okay, so we have 1.9 mil, that's where we left off last time. Let's quickly just buy these battle staffs and get those sold, that's a nice daily, it doesn't make an awful lot, but for the time you put into it, it's actually quite good. Okay, so to get us started on farming. I'm going to buy some acorns and some plant pots they've all bought. I'm going to just go and do a tree run and I'm pretty sure I've got some oaks up already so I should get a nice haul of XP. And we're going to get to 32 as soon as we can, start with Ranars. I'm just going to buy a few energy potions because I do still plan on running bagged plants a little bit later. I obviously won't but the, uh, the whole running of the 1000 in. Like I pretty much did in episode 2, yeah that wasn't a very good idea was it guys. Okay, so I've just ran all my 1,000 bag plants, a little bit more of course, because they regenerate in the shop as the uh, as the running goes along. So that's about 200k that I've made there, hopefully a little bit more. I mean the GE price is 1,400, but they're going to crash, it's only up there because of um, bonus XP. But I think they might already be crashing. So I'm going to get those sold, hopefully make about 200k or something on them. And it took me about half an hour, so doing bag plants is roughly... Uh, 400k GP per hour, so that's really not bad, especially not for a level 4. Okay, so I've put the bags plants in the GE for 1,250 each, so when they sell, 250k profit, so 500k an hour, that's not too bad at all. For now though, we're just going to go on a quick tree run, see if we can grab any farming levels. Yay, 24 farming, that's two oak trees checked, um, two more to go, hopefully we don't have many, if any, deaths. Uh, there are five tree spots, but obviously I can't get to the tree gnome stronghold because I've done zero quests. Uh, four kids dead. So here we are, about to get 25 farming at the Lumbridge patch, assuming that the tree's alive, which it is, thank god. And there we go. Time for the allotments now, for anyone who's never done them before. There is a patch just south of Valador, near the farm. There's also a patch in Catherby, and the final patch I'll be using is in Ardoon. There is another one um, near Port Phasmatis, or however it's pronounced, but I've, I haven't done Ghosts Ahoy or Priest in Peril or anything like that, so I don't have an extra file and I can't even get into that like part of the world map. So I won't be using that one. So the bagged plants have sold, that's a nice 250k profit right there. If you're wondering why I'm wandering around in a wood getting mauled by bears, it's because I've come to activate the Ardoon Lodestone. Now, this is a pretty new update, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go down. But you need to have completed Plague City to teleport to Ardoon using a Teletab, or even by the magic spell. 
So hopefully with the lodestone I can just use home tally and it won't tell me that I need to complete Plague City. And there we are activated and it's really nice and close to the farming patch so I really hope this does work. And there you have it. 26 farming from adding compost to the allotment patch. Okay so now it's time for my dailies run. I'm going to start off by buying all the pineapples and seaweed from Rain in Catherby. Now the pineapples aren't all that great, you can only get 14 and 2 GP each and they don't sell for like massive amounts. But the seaweed, you can get 80 of them for 2 GP each, which is 160. And then they sell for like 500 and something each last time I checked. So that's like 80 times 500, it's 40k in the click of a finger really, so that's pretty cool. Next up on my dailies run is Port Sarim. If you come to Betty, you can buy 10 death runes, that's all that's really worth buying. It used to be that the earth and the water runes were worth buying as well at 17 GP each, but both of them were only 10 now on the Grand Exchange, so that's really not worth it anymore. So just buy the death runes, and then after that, if you head south to Geraint's fishing shop and buy all these feathers, they cost 6 GP each and they sell for 30, so that's an easy 24k right there. And our final stop is on Void Knight Island, and you just want to go and talk to the squire in the magic shop. Buy his 100 death runes, you make about 120 profit off each. So it's not massive, but it's another easy 12k. All in all, we do make a fair old bit off this dailies run, as you'll see in a second. And for 5 minutes work, it's definitely worth it. So here we are just cheekily grabbing another farming level, this is now level 27. Not from composting a patch this time, but from planting the seed. Still yet to get one from harvesting those tomatoes, but we'll get there eventually. Um, so overall today, as we round this episode off, we started off with 1,903k. We're now up to 2,229, which means we've made a total profit of 326, which is really, really good considering all we've done is we've ran some bagged plants, we've done our dailies, and that's pretty much it. So looking forward to the next episodes, hopefully we'll hit that 32 farming and be able to start farming Ranars. That should be tomorrow after I do a couple of tree runs. So until that next episode, take care and be aware.